imaginary unborn baby. I see what you were doing. I know all about your ploys for existing. I know that you intend on being cute enough to make me forget how many of my birthdays you have already ruined, and how many times you made me stay with a man I didn't really love just so that your chances of existing could be a little bit higher. And I know all about that deep desire to let your cartoon baby eyes shine through every single one of my Instagram filters. I know about these things because they are seated in my body. I know that you plan to take my sleep and break my heart and interrupt my long mornings writing and drinking too much coffee. And I know that you plan on becoming a person of your own that I will want to watch with anxious fascination. And I know how much of my time you would like for me to be spending husband hunting, logging hours online dating, searching for the man you need, and you do not pay me enough for all that. <laughs> Imaginary unborn baby, just because I am in my 30s, does not give you the right to exist. Do not listen to the world around us. It is wrong on that point. Imaginary unborn baby, wait for me. Do not become a god for me to be worshipped in the graven images of my Facebook feed. Do not whisper in my ear that I am missing something or that you have a right to any of my choices now. Not until you are flesh and blood all tiny toes of a maker. Imaginary unborn baby, please install yourself in the religious fervor of your father. Go deeply into the matrix of Tinder or OkCupid or scan the city parks and living room armchairs for the one that can make you real. But choose him carefully. Choose the one that will help me teach you that the world is wrong about a lot of different things. Choose the one that will sit with me while we show you how the patriarchy is alive and well in the pages of women's magazines. Choose the one that will take care of you half the time. Let your father carry some of the burden of your almost existing and teach him to find me. Imaginary unborn baby, choose a different disciple. You are seated in his body too, and my body belongs to me.